problem number three. Okay, here we go. Um, let's do it. So, we have a five kilogram cannon and a one kilogram cannonball. And they're both at rest initially. And then what's going to happen is we're going to have the five kilogram cannon go backwards and the two kilogram cannonball, the one kilogram cannonball, go to the right. So this is going backwards at two meters per second. Now let's do our graph. So we're going to have this and this where we've got the cannonball and the cannon. So this is all flat. There's really nothing to draw here. But in this second part, we're going to have the five kilogram cannonball, the five kilogram cannon recoiling at two meters per second. So one, two, three, four, five, and then two meters per second like that. So I can write two meters per second, and I can write that this is a width of five. I just realized I added a little bit too much here. Sorry, this is five. Got to overcount it. And that means if I have an area of ten, that means my one kilogram cannonball must be moving forward at um, one. Uh, sorry, at ten meters per second is what I'm getting. Let me just go ahead and we will double check these numbers. So I have five times zero. Sorry, I have M1 V1 plus M2 V2 initial equals M1 V1 final plus M2 V2 final. And this means zero times zero. Sorry, five times zero plus one times zero equals five times two plus, you know what, and it's going backwards at negative two, plus one times v final. When I actually solve this, I'm getting v final is in fact 10 meters per second to the right. And that is problem number three.